guys what is up and today is going to be an introduction to the batch game series now now what this series is going to be about is a follow-up to the original batch rpg game tutorial where a lot of you guys asked questions on oh how do i add a save game or a shop or a weapons upgrade system so this is a series where it's going to be kind of user driven but also have a little bit of my influence in what I want in this game but again you guys have control over what you want in here so let's say you comment in let's say not only the first part or let's say even the second part where you want something really interesting and cool and I make a follow-up video to that where I show you how to implement that in the game. But the basics of this game are that it's going to have a save functionality slash load functionality. We are going to have a shop and a weapons upgrade system. All that being said, let's dive into it. So first, let's just add basic stats. So set HP equals 100, set monster HP equals 100, set EXP equals 1, set mon EXP equals 1, and set money equals 1000. Now those are just our basic variables, we're obviously going to add more as we add a shop and other things to this game. But the main thing here is that we are going to be adding a limiter or limits to the gun and a couple other things. Because one thing I had a couple comments about is that you could just spam the gun in the original game. And a lot of you guys thought that was unrealistic and I completely agree because you can't have unlimited ammo in the real world so we're just gonna set the gun limit to 15 so to speak and let's just add our start marker so echo what is your name I forgot the E there or the C they're gonna say set slash P name equals echo so your name is name go to battle now let me make a marker for battle And we're going to make our stat line so at a quick glance you can see what the stats are. First, let me add a CLS or a clear screen. I'm going to say name HP versus monster. and my HP now for our battle options slash attack options we're gonna say press T for a punch go press K for a kick Press G for a gun. And finally, press S to use your sword. Now I'm going to say set slash P option equals if option equals equals P go to punch and we're just gonna do the same for our three other L options 
three and four. So we're gonna say K for kick. G for gun. And finally, S for the sword. Now let's make markers for those options. So the marker for punch is going to say set slash a mon HP equals mon HP minus random and we're just going to set the range of that random variable from let's say 15 to 7 or just going to say go to mon attack now we're just going to do the same for the other four options again so copy two, three, four, and this one is going to be kick, and the range of kick is going to be, let's say, 18 to 5. Now for the gun, we're going to say 25 to Three, because of course the gun can miss and cause no damage. Now finally it is going to be the sword. All right, let that option be, let's say 17 to 13. Now for the mon attack or monster attack, let's just make a marker for that. And say, Set slash set slash a HP equals HP minus random and we're gonna set the range from let's say twenty to nine. And we'll just say, go to battle. Now let's just save that and see how the basic system looks. So what is your name? I'm just gonna say, coders and cuts. And let's just say for the punch. And as you can see, the values are changing. Now let's just say the gun and Let's just use the gun again. Keep using the gun. As you can see, it goes into negatives. Plus, we use the gun multiple times. So, let's just close that. Open this back up. So, this could be anything. Right now, it's 15. And based off what I've seen, I think that's a bit too high. So, I'm just going to say 4. And now to see who wins or loses, we're just gonna add if HP get or lesser than or equal to zero, go to loss. We're gonna say if on HP lack. Like zero go to win and for our limiter on the gun let's just scroll down the gun and we're gonna say if gun limit like zero go to battle so it's essentially just going to take you back to the battle. 
And in order for that limiter to work, we are going to say after that, you use your gun and it's allowed to be used. We're going to say set slash a gun limit equals gun limit minus one. And I forgot a percentage signs there. So essentially how this is going to work is if the gun limit is, let's say, one and you're allowed to use your gun once, it's going to reduce that by one each time naturally. So let's say your gun limits at, let's say, two or you're at two. Yeah. And you press G and it goes down by one. So it's kind of like a loop for those of you who know C. And so yeah, let's just save that. Let's just say, close your steps again. And let's just use P and K. And because we didn't set up loss or win, let's just do that right now. So loss echo you have lost pause and then exit. And we're just gonna do the same for win. And let's just put exit. Now for our final test, we are just gonna see if the limiter works. So I'm just gonna put my name as B, G, 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 G. And as you can see, we reached the limiter, so it's not changing the values. Let me just press G again, and it's just going back. So that means we have reached the limiter. So let's just press kick, P, and let's just use the sword and it says you've lost now of course we are going to add more to this game such as the save load functionality and plus the experience points plus the shop and weapon upgrades but this is just the base to all this and that's about it for part one of our bash game series please make sure to rate like subscribe and share this video Thank you for watching.